everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Arnold with the Stock Swish and I'm reviewing Adobe. This was the Stock Swish Show Play of the Day today in the trading room. And I also called an, an option in this two, actually two, uh, two trades. But this is one of the ones that I had been watching. It did have earnings last night. I was thrilled to see this last night. Sometimes I see an earnings at night after four o'clock and I go to bed and I know that I'm going to be trading that the next day. That doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes I go to bed and I have no idea what I'm going to do the next day. But this in particular I saw last night. Let's take a look at it. It closed at 466.45. Boom. Open this morning. Actually tanked into the open. Opened at 437.51 and fell. And really, again, for this stock to fall $20, almost $20 in a day, probably breaks a low here into the close. It's 209. We've got plenty of time left yet for that to happen. You know, is... It's not like even what I would call a jimongous bar for this. Like, let me just look here. Like this bar here was 60 some dollars. Like we're one third of that today. Do you know what I'm saying? This bar here, well, this was less than that bar, but this bar here was more than this bar. So again, this bar could look similar to that bar by four o'clock. And if it doesn't, it's gonna continue to drop until tomorrow, so. I also think the market's lower too, which I have been predicting. So again, it was a fake rally. I know it lasted a week, but it is what it is. It wasn't a real rally. What do I mean by real or fake? When I say a real rally, I mean a rally supported, supported with institutional money. I did not read it that way. I was perfectly willing to step aside and wait until see what really was gonna happen if we were gonna continue. And if I saw the institutional money coming in, in a bullish gap, I was perfectly willing to go along with what happened. I looked every day. I was looking so hard I had a headache. <laughs> I mean, but the reality was it just, I didn't see it that way. And I think I will turn out to be right after all. So we shall see, we shall see. Is Adobe getting some help for the market? Maybe, but this would have worked anyways. And again, the market actually this morning was green while this fell, which was gorgeous. Uh, dream target on this, again, it, it, as far as the option goes, 400, the break of 400, meaning who knows, so. It's been a really nice time to trade this year. And I think the last two weeks have been a little tricky, a little tricky. But we've managed to get our way through it, and there's times to go heavy into trading, and there's times to pull back. And I've learned that through experience, and I think I've done a good job of that as well, as well this year, and again, particularly in the last two weeks. So again, there's time to you know put the put the put your foot in the gas and go, and then there's times to stop, you know, and take a break, and that's okay. That's okay. You don't have to do a trade every single day. You absolutely don't. But anyways, long story short, I love this Adobe Lower. We'll see where it goes. If you're interested in more information and you want to sign up for the Golden Gap class, it's this weekend, March 26th and 27th. Have a great day, everyone.